guys. We got the Mustang out of the trailer. It is still early in the year, and uh, we just got back from Drift Creek, and uh, so we're out here for Drift Colorado round one, and uh, I'm really excited to, to actually drive this thing with all the local Colorado boys, and uh, it's actually really cool because a lot of the local guys have uh, have recently picked up like a newer chassis. Uh, so there's a couple guys out here that actually have C6 Corvettes, uh, some, I think there's like an 05 or an 08 Mustang, um, some other stuff. And basically Drift Colorado is doing a B class this year where basically you, uh, you, could, have, you could do cageless tandem with uh, your factory rear crash bar. So factory rear bumper, factory doors, door bars, and door panels and uh, front bumper and all that stuff. So the Mustang actually meets those requirements. So um, now I could actually go in tandem with the guys in B, in the B class, which is like guys in E46 BMWs, 350Zs with stock crash bars, um, and basically C5 and C6 Corvettes, which is really cool. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go out there and uh, give this thing a bit. All right, so we're here with Levi from Drift Colorado, and he has a new car for the year. I do, I do. What is it? Um, basically, it's just a, I've always wanted an FD with an LS swap in it, and then I realized they already made one, it's called the C5. The <laughs> so, um, I basically looked for the, a convertible because I want to put a hard top convertible on it when I'm done. But it's 100% bone stock. It's a clean title car, I paid 6,000 for it. I put. Um, PBM knuckles on it with a set of Silver's coilovers and I threw some Kansai wheels on it with a hydro e-brake and that's it. It's some seats. Yeah. Se seats. seats are essential in these things. Yeah. Well, stock seats suck. They're too oh, yeah. flat. There's no bolsters. So it's pretty basic. That's sick. So we get to drive today in a B, B class. That's right. So we're going to be in group B. Um, so it's basically street legal tandems. Um, so it's Anything that's got, you know, like safety crash ratings for side impact, and it has to have factory front supports, factory rear supports, um, just so it's safe. And then we're keeping the speeds way lower. So it's kind of uh, popping that cherry for some tandem action for the guys that kind of weren't doing it before. Yeah. Or basically, guys like me and Levi, obviously, he has his LS swap e E36 that he's been driving in Drift Colorado for what, like eight years yeah. now? Yeah. And uh, so he's had this thing together for a long time, but it's kind of at that point to where it costs a lot of money to drive, it burns tires, it does it that does. stuff. It's a little bit more of a process, like kind of like the whole theory behind Drift Week was literally we drove that thing across the country. You could drive this thing, same thing, drive across the country, have heater, AC. It, this was, that my goal was to do Drift Week, but I literally didn't have the car ready in time. Like I'd only had it for like five days before Drift Week was on, or I was gonna do that too. So that's, I'm ready for the next round now. Oh yeah, yeah we're already so. planning around too for the end of the, yeah. oh, end of the yeah. year, so. I'm, it's gonna I'm be, down. it's gonna be dope. Um, I'm excited to go drive. Yeah, it, the course is good. It flows well and fun. All right, let's do it. Yeah, All right, so here is my buddy Ian. What's and, up, guys? Uh, this is his. What, what does that mean? <laughs> New Balance. That's the that is the shoe of our people. Shoe of the people. So this is your C6 Corvette. Yeah. So I bought this as a salvage rebuild. Um, Aaron's the one that inspired me, like most other people. Uh, just so happens it's black as well. But. Um, I've been drifting the last 12 years, uh, 240s, 350Zs, whatnot. Saw Aaron get his C6. Did you drive it? No, I never drove it. This is the first one I've ever driven. They're awesome, that, aren't that they? That was the first drift I ever did. Did it feel just like the best S chassis you've ever had? Yeah, besides, it's funny, so I'm using a pillow and a towel to, to like Ooh. make a bucket seat out of it. <laughs> the seats are awful in them, but um, no, I mean, this thing rips. I just have, I have an e-brake, I've got coilovers and knuckles and that's it. Yeah. Car stock. Um, Basically same, same exact thing that Aaron's had. Yeah, same, just, same thing. I think I'm, I have the dual caliper set up. So that's probably like the only difference. And you did the Z06 over. Yeah, I did Z, ZR1 front, Z06 rears. I did it because the front end was wrecked when I bought it. Yeah. So I was like, I might as well just do it anyways. Oh yeah, they look, these things look so sick. Yeah, because, and everybody pokes their fronts out because um, you have like, the stock ones go to like, there, like yeah. the base model ones, and all the C5s, they don't really have much uh, wide body support. So I was like, yeah, I just do, just, I might as well build it like I want it. So, um, yeah, we look sick. Yeah, thanks. It's, it's uh, funny because uh, Kyle and her, uh, 
Kevin and Brittany. Yeah, they got a, they, they just got a black well, one too. It's funny because Aaron bought that one and then sold it to them. Yeah. So Aaron's just the king of black C6s. Yeah. Um, and you bought this one local here? Yeah, I bought this one in. I picked it up South Denver Salvage Yard. It was wrecked locally in town. Would you? Do you, do you mind sharing the price? So, Let's just say under 10. I mean, that, that's that's honestly where to get these things. I, I yeah. think if you could get one of these under 10 that runs and drives. Yeah, so it, it ran and drove and everything. It's just, they totaled it because the bumpers on the, like the bumper crash bar is a part of the frame. Yeah. So they it's frame damage. I bought a frame damaged one, yeah. but they sell the piece, like they sell the piece that you just weld on. So I just cut off the stop the the one that was mangled and I just welded on the new one and the frames the frames so straight LS2 one LS3 Woo! yeah so I it's funny when I I've, I was searching for a while on um, Copart to oh, find yeah. the right spec I was looking for black like hopefully black I would have took really any color because I'm eventually gonna wrap it anyways but um I was hoping to get black black interior uh, hoping to get LS3 manual all that stuff in a C6 and this one popped up like a month after me searching, I was like, this is it, yeah. this is it. That's awesome, I'm stoked for you. I, uh, I'm i really enjoying the Mustang, but I, I really wanted one of these. Yeah, this well, was, this is kind of the ultimate. Well, if you want to like take a spin in it today and get a little video of it, you're I mean, more than welcome to, because yeah. this, she, it works. Yeah. yeah, they were good, yeah, except for them seats, man. I no. I drove my buddy's C5, yeah. and I literally, I, I just drove it with one hand, yeah. and I stuck my other hand on the other side of the yep. console and just held myself well, if, in. If you want to use my pillow and towel, it works great. It just wedges you in there, but that's the, that's the worst part about it. They do overheat. I'm, this thing's fully stock, so it is, they do run really hot. Um, I need to do thermostat, oil cooler, you know, bigger radiator. I have a big Taurus fan. I, I've got some stuff I need to put into it. But uh, today's just testing. This is the first time I've ever drifted it. Nice. I've like done some donuts in my neighborhood, but other than that, this is this is the first. And I linked both A, a and B course yeah. off the bat. So well, I'm excited to it just works. Go, like drive like the B style cars, like a newer Mustang, a newer Corvette. Yeah, together. yeah. It's gonna be right. cool, and then and then I mean Reagan bought his vet. Levi's yeah. getting his vet. Yeah, so Reagan has one over there. He's the guy yeah, that's Found impacted. It. Drive by pound. Drive by pound. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just I got some neat, the more wheels coming in. I was supposed to have more wheels here, and so I just got these doo doo things. But um, other than that, I mean I, I'm definitely falling in love. I think I. I have a feeling after this event, I'm going to sell or part out my Pro-Am 240. <laughs> so if anybody's looking for a full LS, built T56, all that stuff, let me know. Yeah. I might be parting it out. Be, <laughs> yeah, you might be better just selling it as a full. I'm, I'm a C, but my, my, my chassis is thrashed. I mean, it's I've probably put 100 events into that, that oh, yeah. 240, and it's, I mean. It still drives, though. So. Oh, it's, it, that thing rips. It, there's, nothing, there's nothing bad about my 240. It just doesn't have interior and AC and radio yeah. and niceness. So that's potentially AC. Does what? It have AC? Oh, this got to I'm leaving it. I'm leaving that shit. Yeah. Dude, this is this is the the daily drifter, man. It's I think this is this is the way to go. I'm gonna try to leave as much interior as I can when I build the cage. Yeah, I, yeah, got to. I don't even have grass stains on them yet. They're still they're fresh. They're out the box. Right, well, let's go drive. <laughs> yeah. So we got another Corvette guy over here. Reagan! Oh, hey, what's hey, up? What is this? This is my Corvette, buddy. God. Yeah. It sounds like a man. So guys, this is uh, Reagan from Impacted Wraps. He's the guy who uh, who wrapped my, S, or my S550, uh, Levi's car, his cars, obviously, uh, a bunch of other Drift Colorado cars. So what do you think about the vet? Oh, dude, that's the first lap out, and it was butter. Dude, this thing looks sick. I liked like the 80s retro theme. Is that what you're going for? That's what I was going for. I mean, and then all the pictures you got. And look at that. Even that's like, I don't know, I don't know how you did that, but that's sick. So I think I need a, uh, I think I need a Corvette now. We just have the Corvette gang. Dude, this thing looks sick. I really like, oh, I like the. You got the mullet and everything? Yeah, bud. The little stash? Oh, you, you don't have the new balances in the... I didn't want to get them dirty. In the, the freaking corduroy shorts, though, but... Yeah, I've been getting everybody the Corvette interviews today. Oh, dude. I got Levi, I got Ian, and now I got you. Is there any other Corvettes out here today? Or just no, you guys? I think just us three. And there's only And there's three Mustangs out here. So we got three Mustangs, three Corvettes. But, um, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm ready to go drive, though. You don't...
first set burned. Trav's already underneath the car. This is never a good sign, bud. What? You underneath the car. No, it's just all right. We're just doing a, a quick little toe adjustment is all we're doing. Just quick a toe adjustment. We're doing the, the Adam LZ track alignment. Well, no, what, uh, we, what we did we is... adjust toe five times? You and Adam? No. No, so for drift week on the way home, when we drove home like 1,600 miles, we uh, we had a trailer, obviously, and when it, when it went down, it, it towed it in, so we kind of had it towed out, so when we had the trailer on it, we did like a trailer alignment. So. Yeah, because the extra weight was squatting the rear, so it was kind of, you know, the the squat and it would tow in. So we pulled it out a little bit so, so we could get that mile per gallon on it. Where, huh? Yeah. MPGs. Yeah. And also so didn't wear the tires. Yeah. Let's try to kick, kick lug nuts everywhere. But, but yeah, Trevor said the car didn't feel like it had like any forward bite. Like not any grip, it had so. some, but just not enough. Just, just not, not the normal, huh? Yeah. So. Sure enough, did two toe plates on, just towed out a little bit, so throw a little bit of toe in. How much are you gonna throw in, like quarter inch? Um, probably a little, yeah. It ain't gonna be a whole lot. Yeah. So just a quarter inch round, and then I think it's almost time to go back out for comp, right? Comp after this? Yeah, so we're in the B comp, so we're, we're running against a bunch of stock Corvettes. Just so stock Corvettes, which they seem to be running pretty good. Yeah. Is there good seem to be some good. Good this thing's doing good. This thing's got plenty of freaking power. Oh yeah, this thing's, this thing's saucy as you guys know. Like this thing is like a lead run king. I could do lead run with this thing all day. You guys remember that? That Coon again, Burnyard lead run? Guys, you just saw Trevor went up against the uh, black C6 there on that one, um, and he actually won that round. So he just texted me and said that he got a buy on the next one, so he actually doesn't have a competitor. I think he just has to make a clean run uh, by himself, just a complete run, doesn't have to spin or anything, and then it moves on to the next one. I think it's probably going to be the semis or something like that from what I can tell. Uh, I don't have a bracket or anything in front of me, so uh, we'll just uh, keep going and just uh, keep ripping it. So. So as you guys probably saw earlier, this is Reagan's C5. He's the one that impacted, did that. But I wanted to show you guys real quick his, his tow rig, his truck here. He just wrapped it. And this is actually like a reflective um, vinyl. So in the dark, it like kind of, all those lines like pop. So it's super cool. And I think this might even be one of those designs that you can get online on their online catalog where they'll, they'll um, ship them to you guys and you can put it on yourself or anything like that. So make sure to go check them out. Check out Impacted Wraps and check out the online catalog. Pretty sick. Back in the pits, you can only me one thing. What happened, bud? I, uh, I goofed. You can't see it. So. I goofed. No, I uh, on I think it was on the second transition. I just got like kind of sucked up and just had too much angle and basically went and just kind of parked it. Like 
I don't know if you carry. Yeah. Well, it's just not not smooth. It was just kind of it was like a little jerky. So I was kind of jerked up there to like try to get closer, mm -hmm. and then I was like too shallow, as like I think he was coming around. So I just kind of had to park it right there for for a second. So, but yeah, that's all right. I mean, I think I made it. To, I think that was top four. I yeah, did, I was. I, 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 I didn't know did, either because it was I like did, semis or. So they did a top 16, and then so I basically made it to the top eight, but then I had a buy in the top eight, so that would have technically been the top four, which I wonder if I'll actually have to battle for anything. Oh, like a consolation for a third and fourth? Yeah. They should just take whoever, well, there's no qualifying, so there's no, because normally they'll just take the higher qualifier for third. So I, I don't know if. You might have to, yeah, it'll be a consolation battle for third and fourth, probably. Maybe I should go back over there. Probably. I mean, you could probably get you some water and go back now. I already, I already slammed me a bowl of water. Okay. So that was my battle for third place. I actually, I kind of forgot that uh, since I had the buy run going into the top eight, um, I basically did another run. I was like, oh, I guess I, I guess I lost. I came back to the pit, started eating some chips and hanging out, and, uh, and then they called me back over there for the for basically the battle between third and fourth for third place. So uh, they'll be announcing that after they do the actual tandem competition uh, here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm in the car. Car did pretty good. Did it, did it seem like it was doing all right? Did it, does, it, does it look okay? Does it look as cool as my 240? Or does it look like a big old giant? Big, but it looks cool. It does yeah. cool stuff. It looks like it doesn't carry speed, but it's also heavy. It, it, carry, it carries speed once it's going in. Like, during the transi transitions, you're just throwing all that weight around, so it's hard to get it to accelerate forward. So, like, if you throw it like over here, you're like, uh, you like and then fight it uh, out. Uh, like yeah. like once it's going like if I throw huck that thing on the bank oh yeah like it's a 70 mile an hour entry up there versus like a 30 mile an entry around like a hairpin is gonna and then do another hairpin another Wait, hairpin another that. hairpin but the angle on this thing's freaking killer yeah. like I could back it into that first corner if I yeah if I wanted to but yeah it's it's no, it's uh, good it's some it's, definitely, it's good. definitely a really cool chassis I kind of I kind of want to put the a seat in it and then the hydro I feel like then I'll be able to drive it a little bit more aggressive and maybe lower it I kind of want to lower it to me, it, it kind of looks like a little yeah, bit of a monster truck, but yeah, it'd look a lot better lowered. But it just such, it just feels like a big girl. That's, that's it. Just feels like a big girl. You know, sometimes it's a thought. Yeah, they they need they need a, they need a thrasher too. So, 
loading the, I was gonna say S14, but the Mustang up today. Uh, we got a special surprise. We actually got some new wheels for uh, the S14 build. Uh, that'll probably be one of the next videos you guys see is uh, kind of test fitting those and doing some more body work. But uh, Mustang did good today. We did uh, one last run on the big course. Um, but the, there's kind of the lines kind of long real quick. The tires are almost done. And uh, I think that we might go say hi to the Booster Boys real quick. Uh, so we're gonna get this thing loaded up. But yeah, she did great. First debut in uh, Drift, Colorado. So uh, pretty stoked about that. She uh, she did she did good. So I'm, I just try to, need to decide if I want to go crazy with it, like a cage. And I mean, it already has everything else. So pretty much just needs a cage. But uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys in a minute. So we, we had to make a pit stop. You guys know Trevor. Can't not do shenanigans. You just couldn't resist, huh? Couldn't, just no. couldn't resist. Well, I mean, couldn't resist the shenanigans. Kyle did a burnout in something, and uh, we already had this, and we had a little bit of tire left. And uh, I told him there's plenty of space here on the little pad, so we're gonna. He's in the pocket. Second. Well, it's all, it's all towed in right now, and it didn't used to be. So you guys have a nice little practice pad here. Yeah, you're ripping, dude. <laughs> Pop so so I got you. Oh, well, it was already like that. <laughs> dude, this thing gets. That's amazing. Is it loud? Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's, a little. <laughs> it's a little loud. Middle. And when dude, it backfired towards us, it was like, whoa. Is that shooting the flame oh, out? Huge oh, yeah. Big balls. Big fire balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was that was wicked. Great drive, bro. Yeah, second gear just wants to like push through. Like as soon as you put it in second, because I don't have the brake disconnected, so it just goes crazy. But first, I can sit here and play around with it. Just, that was wicked good. That was awesome. It was so fun to watch. I it. totally controlled. It's so good. I'm surprised you got back up when you went off over yeah, here. Yeah, me too. I, I didn't think you were going to give me that. Look, look, at, the, fell look off. at the drop. You fell you off, dude. off the side. You're off. You're right just kind of like, look, we haven't, we haven't lost, lost grip for a minute. <laughs> Yeah. You jumped the gap. <laughs> you jumped the gap. <laughs> that was sick. That was a nice little board slide thing. Yeah, this little 50 50. You went up over here too, look. Yeah. Yeah, and I like backed off of that thing. Well, the one, the left, the inside tire was still on, so it was still gripping. Yeah. The other one's completely <laughs> off. It was like in the air. It was in the air. 
That was wicked good. Thanks, Thanks for the show. Brent, you want to go for a ride? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, shit. That limiter is... How would I not? <laughs> Where are you guys going to go for a ride? in there nicely. I like that Garrett, man. Yeah. So I got a bigger one Garrett coming logo. for mine. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Yeah, so I'm, I'm stoked about that. So uh, we stopped over here at the Booster Boys and uh, checking out some of their stuff. They actually just got this thing off of the dyno. They're playing around with some stuff with it and uh, testing some things also out there on the little pad. And that's when I decided to unload the Mustang and, uh, and kind of play around with that too. So that's cool you stopped by. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's been a while. So yeah, Kyle was also holding it. He picked up an S14 bumper for me a long time ago. Yeah, it's been over, here over like over a year. Yeah. I was like, hey, Kyle, can you go pick this up for me? I've like Facebook, had him like go do a sketchy Facebook marketplace deal. Yeah, it's actually a dude that has a shop down here. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. But uh, finally pick dude, up that thing, S14 bumper. Dude, this thing's freaking sick. I know. Get you excited for yours? Get a bigger turbo on there and go. Bigger turbo. Well, we, we lifted the head on mine and. Uh, so now it, we're, I'm debating whether we're going to do the bigger hot side on it or just the bigger turbo and cams and just all the things at once. So, oh, okay. I say just I go for the send. Well, I kind of want to like actually take it and like get some testing with it. Like basically take that same exact turbo and the same cams and everything, just put a bigger hot side on it and then go to the track. See what it does. Or what do you think? Should I, should I do cams and a bigger turbo before I even go to the track with it? Well, let's just go around nines already or faster. I think it should be close to a nine now. I'm sure it is. So we're going to one forty. Yeah, just leave it. See what it does. Or something. So it did. It did one forty two. One forty two. Did a ten four at one forty two. Oh, that's enough for. Yeah, that's enough for nines. Yeah. And that Especially was. All wheel drive. You can do a nine at one thirty five. And wheel. then so that was yeah. with the that was front wheel drive. Yeah. So and I don't know. It'll probably might get faster in the front if I if it doesn't. So are you coming to the race next weekend? The PSCA race. To be continued. Call him yeah, out. What about race week? What was that? Race also week. To be continued. He texted me saying he wanted to bring the Civic to race week. I was asking you if you were doing it. And I said yes, and you're like, I kind of. You want to said bring you Civic. said maybe actually. No, I said I'm bringing the MR2 to race week. You didn't say it like that. <laughs> I didn't. You didn't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta see what I said now. He said. <laughs> he said I'm thinking about it. He said I'm thinking about it. I might have said it. You said it. You I said can't wait to see what it. you run with the newfound power and everything else. Oh man, that's why you got to come race. Oh, I said it was gonna try to. There you go. But I knew I was going to if we got it <laughs> because I wasn't when I didn't have the training together yet, so yeah. I didn't know where if I was going to for sure be able to make. Are it. you gonna now tow a trailer too. with it? I think so. Yeah, we're gonna have to because there's no there's no room there. in that thing yeah. for anything. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a little hitch or something. Yeah, I think. Well, like my drift week trailer is too big. I'm gonna have to oh, get a smaller yeah. trailer. A lot of guys just gear up U-hauls or or. Those little four My by holes, four by or sixes whatever. or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm gonna sure. have to haul yeah, four yeah. slicks and all of that. Just strapped to your roof. Let's go. Something like that. Get a roof rack. So. Yeah. Get a basket. Roof basket for it. Sit a roof basket. <laughs> yeah. It's so yeah. sweet. Put the, put the shopping cart on the top of it. Uh, I don't know if they make a. It'd be a pretty epic the, not to have a trailer, but to just haul everything. Yeah, I don't. But I don't know if they make a topper because I have the t-tops and stuff. It might be oh, weird. Yeah. Sure. We'll figure something out. But. So you think bigger turbo cams and turn it up? Let's go. Before I yeah. Before I get any data. Yeah, well, none of the tracks are freaking fly. open down south anyhow. So yeah. Well, Saturday we're all racing. We're taking on Friday. See you there. <laughs> well, Kyle, <laughs> you got a spare bedroom? You got? Yes. Well, actually, this yeah. is further than. Yes. You, further you than can stay well, we just get the track. Whatever, man. We could stay. Camp. camp there. Camp out. All of us. It'd be a blast. We'll hook up Emilio's RV. Yeah. Yeah. Just mob it over. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny. 
to be continued. Yeah. <laughs>